Okay, hi everybody, it's Sam. Uh, this is the wrap up for December, and I'm sorry I'm getting this up late, but <clears throat> I read one, two, three, four, Five books, and some of them are kids. <clears throat> right now, though, I'm reading. I'm still reading Tomorrow Girls. Oh, just with everything happening, I've been kind of slacking. <laughs> but I read Salem's Lot by Stephen King. This book wasn't that bad. It was boring, though. It was like. It was like a big chunk of it where it didn't talk about nothing, like about the guy traveling in junk. It was kind of boring. I now this was better. The Patient by Michael Palmer. This was actually really good, although it talked a lot about medical procedures and stuff. <clears throat> then I read this is the kids book. I got three kids books here. Um, Too Much TV, The Bernstein Bears, too, and Too Much TV by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Bernstein? <coughs> Sorry. I'm kind of sick. I got a cough drop in my mouth. Hopefully you guys can if you still hear me. Uh, that's just about learning how to not, like, how to play and stuff, basically. Don't get involved in Too Much TV. Then I read Tilly the Witch by Don Freeman. Just about a witch who becomes nice and has to be mean again for Halloween. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. I think I say his name. Um. <coughs> 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 hmm. Excuse me. Um. <coughs> This was like an old childhood classic of mine. I don't, know, I don't even know how long this book's been out. Like, for real. Hmm. It's the same thing, basically. Okay, yeah. Yeah. 1969. I think that's what it says. <clears throat> okay, I'll just go ahead and do my unwrappings right now. It's a doggy. Hopefully this is a loving spot. Oh, it's loving, loving. I actually forgot about this one. I probably forgot about this one. Love inspired. Historical. In a mother's arms, two touching tales of oh boy, this is two books in one. It ain't that thick, so it doesn't. <clears throat> of love and family. Finally, a family by Jillian Hart and Home Again by Victoria Bylan. That one I can't wait to read. I love the love inspired. <clears throat> Um, oh, uh, magazine, or well, what is it, things called again? Uh, it's not really a magazine, it's more of a tabloid? <sighs> or something like that, it's, it's a magazine, sort of. It just, it actually doesn't have anybody, except it says, Holy Horror, Teens Heads, Cured by four. Foot, metal, pole, and he does. <laughs> I think it's another hell of one. <laughs> yep. Except this one's intrigue, so this is more like suspenseful. Catch or release. Brother in arms, fully engaged. Carl. 
Erickson. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's all I've got to show you right now. I'm just trying to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't read anything online. I haven't read anything online in a while. <laughs> that's how I do, though. Sometimes I just... It, mainly the only things I read online is that free comics website. That I... I think I mentioned it before. Uh, and that's it. And that's barely I even read off of them. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. I might actually start reading off of them again. Because there was like a ton of Nightmare on Elm Streets. A ton of different Jason ones. Uh, Michael Myers. I, I love the horror movie ones they put on there. They even... Because of, uh, I guess, my... You know, I asked them, could they put it on there? They did. I put uh, Serenity, and I've been trying to make them put another uh, comic on there, but I don't think they will. But you can actually read it on another website. I just have to find out what that other website is. It's got a lot of nudity in it, so they probably won't put it on the other one, because it's like kid-friendly type thing. I didn't know it. I'm going to ask them to put it on there because I didn't read it yet. They actually <clears throat> haven't put it on there yet. At least I don't know. I'll have to look again. Well, I guess I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!